I'm Amanda. I'm Matt. And we're the co-founders of Beneath the Surface Foundation. We teach combat veterans yoga and ocean therapy to help them overcome post-traumatic stress. With all the uncertainty and unpredictability of day-to-day -day life during the COVID-19 pandemic, we wanted to offer daily wellness practices that get you moving your body, breathing, and incorporating some healthy practices that boost your immunity, support your mental health, and encourage physical well-being. So take five minutes out of your day and follow along. When you first wake up in the morning, instead of reaching for your smart device to catch up on all the COVID-19 updates, start your day with a liter of water. For boosted immunity, add an ounce of organic apple cider vinegar. Sun Salutation A. Start at the top of your mat. Look down, make sure your big toes are touching and leave a slight space in between your heels. This sets you up for correct anatomical alignment. From here, inhale and reach your arms up overhead. Nice long stretch, expand and open through. Now, bring your hands together to touch like they're in prayer and then slide them down your center line as you begin to bend forward at the waist, hinging the hips back, coming down into a forward fold. We're gonna stay here for a few breaths. Go ahead and let your arms and head hang. The key here is to relax your head and allow the length of your spine to expand. Maybe bend the knees if your hamstrings are tight. Find a little bit of softness and flexibility. This is a really important part of this because the head is lower than the heart. From here, we're gonna do what's called a halfway lift. So as you inhale, you're gonna engage the muscles of your spine and lift your back until it's flat. It may not look like this. You can bring your hands to your shins or to the tops of your kneecaps if you're trying to find some flexibility and expansion in the back side of your body. Now very slowly as you exhale, come back to a forward fold. Maybe you'll notice that you can go just a teeny little bit deeper because you've softened into that space. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, fold it back down to a forward fold. A lot of yoga is preparatory movement and then action. So now let's turn that into a preparatory movement. Inhale to a halfway lift. Now as you exhale, plant your hands like you're about to do a push-up and then step one foot back at a time until you're at the top of a push-up. In yoga, we call this high plank. Let's make sure that the core is engaged and we're not drooping in the belly. You can push up through the shoulder blades to create this nice, strong structure. Stay as you feel the power of your core creating structure for this posture. Now, as you inhale, shift the shoulders slightly forward over the fingertips, and then like you're doing a tricep push-up, lower halfway down. The elbows come into the sides, you're slow and controlled. Press the top of your feet into the mat, and then as you inhale, lift your chest forward and up. The gaze can come up slightly. Now, we're not dropping our pelvis to the floor. Instead, we're creating lift through our chest and upper back. Stay for one more breath in. Now as you exhale, use the power of your abdomen and lift the hips up as you start to send the legs and hips back. This is downward facing dog. The goal here is to have the biceps be on the ears. The shoulders are pushing the floor away and our hips are lifted nicely. It's okay if your knees are bent. It's okay if there's a bit of rocking motion between the legs to try and find some space and expansion. But ideally, we wanna find an equal balance between hand and foot. Now we're gonna make our way back to the top of the mat. So as you inhale, bend your knees and gaze forward. This is a preparatory movement. As you exhale, start to walk slowly towards the top of the mat. Again, your forward fold may not look like this. You can make it to the top of the mat with knees bent or maybe a full expression of forward fold. Something that helps is if your knees are bent, bend your knees so much so that your torso can rest on your quads. This allows you to find length and flexibility in your hamstrings and back. Just like we went into it, let's inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale to a forward fold. With a strong back and bum, inhale and take it all the way back to standing. Use that whole breath, the peak of the inhales when your palms press together, and then bring your hands in front of your heart. Let's try this one breath, one movement. Gaze down, make sure your big toes are touching, slight space in between your heels. Bring your hands to touch at the center of your chest. Long breath guides the movement. Inhale, sweep the arms down, and then up and overhead. 
palms pressed together at the peak of the inhale. As you exhale to forward fold, hinging at the hips, sending them back as the head and torso release down. Inhale to a halfway lift. As you exhale, plant the hands and then step one foot back at a time to the top of that push-up. Use the whole exhale. From this strong position, inhale to shift the shoulders forward. As you exhale, lower halfway down. Be sure to hug the elbows into the sides. Tops of the feet press into the mat, strong legs. Inhale, chest comes forward and up. And then as you exhale, it's downward dog. As you strongly lift the core and hips, Fix the toes, send the heels down and back as you send the chest down and back. Inhale, bend your knees and gaze forward. As you exhale, walk to the top of your mat. The peak of the exhale is the peak of your forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. The peak of the inhales when the palms press together. And as you exhale, bring the hands to the heart. On your own, with your own breath, one breath, one movement, complete five rounds of sun salutation A.